If you're after some stretches to do for your spine in standing or basically stretches that you can do wherever you are, whatever time of day it is and wherever you happen to be, then I've got a few things to show you. Most of us, if we have a back problem, will tend to find that it starts to get a bit sore in our lower backs. And if you're finding that you want to stretch it and reach it, what's probably happening here is you're loading it. So either posture-wise, just the pressure build-up is causing the pain, or we're basically just squashing some of the joints there and they hurt. So one of the key stretches that I show my clients to do, which is quite effective and quite easy, is if you have a desk in front of you, which I have here, I'm just gonna walk back away from the desk. And that gives me a stretch under my arms here, because again, if we're tight, our lats can pull, but I'm stretching here. And then to get a little bit of ease from there, I can scoop and tuck my tail underneath. I look down towards my toes, and then I can relax and let my back come back to straight. So I can scoop and tuck under, and then release and come back. In that same position, I can choose to take my tail from the side, keep my upper body still, and just move my hips. For me, when I do that, I actually tend to move my feet, so that if I'm in that desk position here, I actually just turn my feet. So if my feet are facing 12 o'clock, if I turn them to three o'clock, I get a stretch on the right. If I come and change them to nine o'clock, I get a stretch on the left. So they're two nice easy ones to do. We start out, we do a curl and release, and we do a side to side. And that allows us to get some pressure off our spine, but it also allows us to stretch out those areas. Another way to do it if you don't have anything desk-wise is to use a wall. And you can just reach your arms off a wall and take the chest towards the wall. The only one with this is if you do have problems with your shoulders, sometimes it's not that nice on the shoulders, so the arms are coming up the wall, and then we lean into the wall. So if you can see with my back here, as I stretch, I'm just getting that reach, and then I can choose, again if I want to, to just tuck my tail in to get some relief through the back. One of the favourites that I give to clients is actually trying to stretch the whole side, okay? So on this one, we're going to come inside the door. We're going to have and imagine that we're bananaing our body, okay? So we're going to take the inside hand at the bottom, the outside hand from the door post at the top, and I'm just going to lean away. That's gonna give me a stretch all the way down that side of my body. So my whole side is being stretched. And then if I turn to look at my heel, I get a different stretch again. So I'm gonna show you from the back end this way. So it's gonna stretch this way, and then I'm gonna increase the stretch forward. So I take my two hands, outside hand on top, and I lean away to get that stretch. And then to increase it, I'm going to look at my heel on the inside foot, and then this whole side stretches that little bit more. So they are two or three stretches that you can do with ease. If you don't have a door jam, you can always just lean up and support your body weight on the side. So you slide your arm up, and we have support from the other side on the wall. The only thing you do need to be aware of with those is if you do have shoulder issues, that sometimes it can get a little bit pinchy in the shoulder. If you're sitting in a chair, you can do the same thing. You can just grab behind your knees and curl, and release and come up. Grab behind the knees and curl, release and come up. As you're sat in the chair, you can reach and do more traditional forward stretches or mermaid stretches. So hopefully they will help you. Um, the big thing that you have to remember and the big thing that I do tell my clients is that if you have 
a problem where you're getting sore towards the end of the day or you're getting more sore as the day goes on it's likely to be a compression or a loading problem and if we can take some pressure off your spine and those stretches will help you take pressure off your spine then you'll find that it feels a whole heap better if we stand there and pull our finger back and we stay there and we're pulling our finger back and pulling our finger back and pulling our finger back it's the same thing that we're doing with our joints. After a while, it gets really sore and it, it takes a while. And then after a while, we just can't do it at all because it hurts. So be kind to your spine, be kind to your back because when you're loading it and you're constantly loading it and constantly causing the joints to be compressed, they will get irritated and we do need to take some pressure off them. So hopefully you enjoy those stretches. Try and hold them if you can for maybe up to 20 seconds, a little bit longer if you can manage it. And once you've done two or three, you can move on to the next section or you could do alternating, but around about two or three in each position would be great and they will take you less than five minutes. So if you're looking at how you could sort of integrate them into your day to day, if you are getting into the car or out the car, you could put your hands on the car bonnet and stretch before you get in. If you're doing things at home, like loading the dishwasher, loading the washing machine, as you load the washing machine, rest your hands on and reach and stretch. If you're walking by a door or you're on a phone call, you could have your ear pods in like I've got mine in and you can be talking and stretching and doing what you need to. It doesn't have to be that we have to have, you know, a mat on the floor and do everything. If we can get these things where we just reach, you know, the television's on and the commercial breaks on, stand up and do a little bit of moving, just change your posture and you will find it will have a massive, massive impact on how sore or how good your back and your body feels. Let me know how you go on. I would love to know if they've helped you. And um, yeah, my top three stretches for your spine that are easy to do, you don't need equipment and you can do anywhere.